My name is Dave Boucher and welcome to day 45 of my six month life transformation chronicle. Uh, it's, it's crazy that it's uh, four, been 45 days. I mean, that means that we are officially uh, a quarter of the way through this 180 day video series, which uh, blows my mind. I always, you know, tell you and tell myself that time goes by really fast. And so uh, if you want to make progress, the way to do that is just to get started now, because in six months, a year, two years from now, you're going to ask yourself, where did the time go? And if you didn't start, you'll just be feeling regret that you could have been so much farther along. So I always encourage you, you know, use the most of the time you're lucky enough to have, and I do the same thing, and uh, that way we can keep each other honest. So in terms of what I've been doing, uh, today is Valentine's Day, but unfortunately, since I left my job, I have to be a little bit careful with my cash. Uh, I cannot give very fancy gifts to my wife, but because it is the thought that counts, uh, and I've been uh, rather deep into Python recently, I indulged myself and used up this morning to do a little bit of Python related um, Valentine's Day stuff. So I think I can post the direct link to my LinkedIn uh, version of the posting. I'll put it in the description comments and uh, you guys can check it out. Like I said, just a little bit of fun. Uh, it didn't cost anything but some time. So there we go. Hopefully she likes it. Um, in terms of what I what else I've been doing, so Python for sure, um, my friend who prompted me to start this project from last week, came back with some requested modifications and uh, he's my friend and it's an interesting problem having to do with reading uh, images. So re reading images into text. And so that's actually what this uh, LinkedIn thing I did for my wife relates to is reading images into uh, text. So imagine taking a picture of a street sign and having it come back to you as actually a word on the street sign. And the second round of changes he had was actually quite tough. So I spent all day at it yesterday um went to bed quite tired actually because it was so mentally draining uh but it's rewarding you know you set out to do something you finish it and you feel good uh rest of the afternoon so it looks like i may have a lead on some uh, product introduction work so some go-to-market strategy uh, my homework for that is to read eight patents and that's going to be pretty heavy i think so I'll try and break that up over the next couple of days do one or two every day so that i have time to really uh, understand what's going on uh, and then finally, tomorrow will probably be uh, a change of scenery since I'm attending an all-day um, Internet of Things training course. And so I'll probably just do this video from the car and then upload it later. It's going to be quite a packed day. In fact, the next couple of days are going to be pretty packed. And so today I'm just trying to get as much prepped as I can and enjoy the downtime before things get really quite busy. So um, all that said, I hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. Hope you have... Uh, a great time with whoever your valentine is or if you're by yourself that's no big deal um it's not so bad being able to do what you want when you want it either so don't worry about it um but i hope you guys have a great rest of the day hope you stay productive have a great day at work with your families and i'll catch up with you tomorrow for day 46 thank you so much